Okay, Wilf meantime, is. Wilf is here this morning. Goldman Sachs, uh, of course, has a reputation for being secretive a little less these days, but now it's really going to be pulling back uh, the curtain, or at least trying to, uh, all in the name of transparency. And Wilford has some new details for us. What's going on? Yes, indeed. So they are reorganizing their reporting structure. Here's how things used to be. Institutional client services, which was basically trading, investment banking, investment management and investing and lending. This is going to change to the following. Global markets, which is just a change of name, really, for institutional client services, will still be the trading. Investment banking, that, of course, remains. Asset management will be a new subheading. And then consumer and wealth management. The big takeaway here is the former uh, segment of investing and lending, which had been seen particularly in the latter years of uh, Lloyd Blankfein's tenure, it's a little bit of a black box that wasn't given the same level as multi of multiple by analysts is being shut down. The investing part of that is going into asset management and the lending part being split out across whichever relevant segment. So if it was lending to a corporate, it'll fall in investment banking. If it was lending to an individual, it'll fall uh, in consumer and wealth management. The timing comes a week before they report earnings and more importantly ahead of the big investor day that comes at the end of the month where we will continue to get more guidance as to which of these segments they want to focus on going forward and I think we will get a lot more of that word that uh, Andrew said transparency going forward uh, including uh, ROE by segment and targets uh, for each segment in that space which perhaps we weren't expecting them to go as far as of course at the moment guys they do trade at a relatively low earnings multiple around one times price to book this is one of many uh, tactics that they hope uh, will so they get hope investors. by showing showing more kind of opening the kimono that it will be more appealing yeah I, I think opening the kimono as it relates to investing in lending that's yeah. something that they'd already tried to do it's themselves well, must you say that on the Harvey Weinstein uh, <laughs> trial date when we've got those uh, must you right, say that phrasing. Anyway. by but, being more transparent by being say. more transparent but but also uh, a focus on where David and his team David Solomon and his team think the growth is to come going forward and uh, reorganizing. I mean, they're not changing the total revenue or the total EPS, of course. It's still going to add up to the same thing. But this will allow them to, to set out their targets of where they see the company going uh, in, in the future. And we'll have to see if that generates a, a bit of a higher multiple going forward. The two big questions, I think, for the share price as we start the year. One is, can they settle 1MDB? Uh, all the people I right. seem to speak to suggest that is close. Two, does this investor day at the end of the month impress investors? If they sorted both of those, you could see their multiple jump by 10 or 15 percent and, and match more of what Morgan Stanley's is. And, and we'll, we'll get an answer to both of those, presumably, by the end of the month. But clearly, there's got to be some. I mean, what's the downside on the other end? I, I see the upside piece of it. Of reorganization? Yeah. No, not, no, not the reorganization, but in terms of where the stock is sitting right now. What, what's every, the downside? Every, no, meaning everyone thinks if, if all of these things happen, it's going to go up. But if everyone knew that all these things were just going to happen, it would, have, it would already be up. Right. Right. I, I'd say, I mean, listen, I think at the start of last year, the, the question mark over the stock was almost purely uh, on 1MDB. Since then, we've had delays on this investor day. That's worried people that the strategy as laid out or as due to be laid out by the new management team was going to underwhelm. The, we'll get that answer by the end of this month. I think that's why okay. the second, if you look at the second half of last year versus the first half, I think the balance of why it was trading at a, a discount to Morgan Stanley and the others right. was more tilted towards question marks over the strategy as opposed to 1MDB. Fair. I mean, if both get sorted, we won't know which one it was weighing on versus, versus the other. But that, that's the key kind of question, I think, is that the strategy day is now more important than 1MDB being settled, though both are significant.